But it's already been a long Friday morning. John Rivas was on the air with Jason Sudeiko for three hours nonstop watching those storms roll through, and it left quite a bit of damage too, John. Yes, it did, Eric. As of right now, we're still still now going to be looking at some sun trying to peek through the clouds from our West Des Moines sky cam, but we're still going to be looking at some more isolated showers and thunderstorms popping up now after that main initial line that really packed a punch, really strong winds uh, over the late morning hours and even as we they go in right now further off to the east, still dealing with some of those uh, stronger storms, but not us. We are having a little bit more of these pop up showers and thunderstorms. Not going to be too impactful. Nothing like what we already had earlier, even further west of I-35 between Ogden and even going down towards Stewart. Some more of those pop up thunderstorms, but those very strong winds, a lot of wind reports coming in and we're still going to be looking around 75 mile per hour winds uh, in Greenfield and even the metro close to around 60 miles per hour as we go as we went through very early this morning. The winds and everything should be calming down. Still a chance for some showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon east of I-35. We catch a break Saturday. We have more sunshine with more storm chances returning Sunday, Eric. Those storm chances, storms have moved out, John, but we're still seeing a big backup up in northern Iowa. Right now, right where those storms are rolling through again, I-35 southbound has now been closed for about two and a half hours. Everybody's being forced off if you're coming from, say, Clear Lake or Iowa Falls, heading down toward Des Moines in the southbound lane. You get past Highway 20 and then you see that everybody's being detoured off of 35. That's been underway for at least two and a half hours. Now traffic is being impacted. If you're heading from Ames up north towards Story City, a little incident going off on the side of the road. Now, if you're coming from uh, northbound out in I uh, Ankeny, coming from Des Moines up toward Ankeny, see there's debris in the middle of the road, not a big accident or anything like that, but watch that. And over by Newton in the eastbound lanes, I-80 has a big old truck off to the side of the road. Watch that if you're getting off going to Newton from Des Moines. Right now in the metro, most things are fine out there in uh, you see that around the metro. Uh, things are moving smoothly. Now an update from Des Moines schools because five schools will now be closed today because of the power outages after the storms. Those five schools are listed on your screen right now. Several local schools are also on a two hour delay. And take a look right now in Johnston where we've been watching for the last couple of hours along Merle Hay Road. The cars are still smoking. These live pictures coming showing you the power lines down along Merle Hay Road across the street from High V. One of those lines was pulled down and sparked a fire. It happened after those storms hit the metro. Those vehicles are just charred, severely burnt. Firefighters are out there on the scene detouring folks around Merle Hay Road. You can see investigators trying to figure out what's next. A big problem up there on Merle Hay Road.